All right, ladies and gents, this will be fun. I am going to try three different rolled summoners that all probably are somewhat coveted out there while those are going for uh, adepts because they're good, man. Summoners, who they're good. There's a lot of good rolls on this thing, and there's a lot of good combos. And I've got three that I think are going to be coveted, and I'm going to try them all throughout a card and just kind of see... Which one feels best? Good one, number one. And we got a blue shader on this to help you kind of recognize it. Elemental Capacitor, which is really good when you're using void subclasses like I am because it's got very nice increased stability. So we're using Elemental Capacitor with Onslaught. Onslaught Final Blows will help you with the increased rate of fire. So you get a kill, your next kill, faster increased rate of fire. Very, very good at getting a melty second kill. Ricochet Rounds gives bonus stability and a little bit of range. Hammer Forge for the increased range. Handling Masterwork, not ideal. Would have loved stability or range. Make up for it with the Adept range. That's roll number one. Roll number two. Golden Tricorn Zen Moment. People love Zen Moment. Keep this thing stable. Again, we got Ricochet Rounds. Really good for the increased stability. We got Small Boar, which gives some range, some stability. In case you're not getting a point, range and stability. That's what you want on this thing. We got a stability masterwork. I'm happy with that. Let's put a range adept mod on it. Why not? Golden Tricorn, get kills, get bonus damage. We're throwing wild card on all of them, by the way. Get kills with these things. They drop little, like, Telesto bolts on the ground. Makes it really tough for the enemies to get revives. Let's look at the third one. We just got this one. We're rocking target lock. I don't think I'm going to like this one, but I'm excited to test it for myself. Target lock on auto rifles. Realistically, if you're hitting some headshots and landing your shots, by the time they're dead... That's when it's going to proc. You might get one or two extra damage bullets, but I don't think it's going to proc in time. Heal clip. People love heal clip. I love heal clip, but I'm not sure I'm going to love heal clip on an auto rifle because heal clip's good on weapons you're pushing with. Auto rifles are not really push weapons. They're more kind of lane weapons, sit back and gun people weapons. So I'm excited to try it. Not sure I'm going to love it nearly as much on the summoner as I do on Helio. Ricochet, bonus stability. We got an all three. Chambered Compensator, not as good as it could be. Handling, definitely not what we want. We want range. We want stability. We didn't get it. Range mass work to make up for it. So we got three very different summoners with completely different main perks that we're going to test out for you. Been good for good. It's been good for like two straight minutes, dude. We're fucking chilling. I didn't get the kills. No Onslaught. This man has robbed me, but God, it's stable. Now we have Onslaught, but we're a little weak. Doesn't matter. It like just melted. Do we also have Radiant there from hitting so many headshots? I think we might have. I really, 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 really think for me, Elemental and Onslaught might actually be it. Like, but there's so many rolls, it's hard to know. But it just feels so good. Damn. Got one in the Wither War, but the other guy was out of it. Mid-freaking game. Let's go try Heal Clip Target Lock. I really don't know what to expect out of target lock. I don't know what a target lock on a uh, on a 600 RPM auto is gonna feel like, or heal clip. Like these are these are both pretty uh, wild cardy. Okay, does target lock activate? Like it didn't activate on that kill at all. Heal clip did though, and heal clip kind of helped me there. Target did not like that. Yeah. So over two on target lock activating out of both of our fights. But like, that's not enough to conclude. Just threw it off for the first time. People love target lock. They talk so highly of target lock. People think target lock's the god roll for everything. Did not get it to activate on that kill. Heal clip's nice. We got it. No, we got radiant there. And we didn't get it to activate there. Like, dudes, it was radiant dealing 30 instead of 27. I really think if you're landing headshots... On your audio, auto, you're going to get the kill before target lock even activates. It almost is like a wasted perk. If you're going for body shots and you don't miss, maybe you'll get it to activate. But you miss one bullet and it's going to not happen. Did it just go from 30 to 31? Okay, bro. We could swap from target lock to golden tricorn. That's what I'm going to freaking do. All right. I already am making the summary that target lock ain't the freaking play on the summoner. Make it a conclusion. Target lock, not the play. Golden tricorn. They're all three just sitting back. I should have not slid that. Golden tricorn. You get a kill. Now you get bonus damage. So we're going to try that with heal clip because that way each kill is helping me times two. Because you get a kill. Now you're not only healing yourself with a reload. But you're also going to be getting yourself bonus damage with the Tricorn. So I think that that combination is going to be better. You just lagged. It doesn't seem like it on my side. These guys are teaming so hard. I'm going back while I'm in Viz. They won't know I'm there. 
They might. That makes it so they can't push through this door. Heal, heal, heal. Oh my god, the heal clip just saved my life. Good job, RD. He's in my smoke. I can still see him though. Boom. Heal clip just saved my life. I didn't think I'd like heal clip on Summoner, but it might not be as bad as I thought. Hey, if there's a few drop frames here and there, I apologize, friends. We are going through slight internet hiccups. Hopefully, it's not too bad on the video. All right, so heal clip doing better than I thought. Again, we got the golden shader for the heal clip roll. We decided not to try target lock anymore. I think that that is a useless perk. So now we're going to compare heal clip versus Zen moment because we have two golden tricorn rolls. Zen and golden, heal and golden. Let's kind of test those out a little bit. We're going to keep this heal clip golden on for the next game. Then we'll swap to Zen. We'll see which one of those two feels better. Okay, we're on the zone, but my teammates are not. So I want to go see if I can get an angle. That did not kill him. I also shouldn't have dodged there. That was a stupid dodge. I wasn't even weak. Oh, we're getting everybody so weak. You should cook. Okay, goodbye, Witherward. It's all right. Eh, we don't even, I don't even want to throw on a different weapon. Let's just keep Witherward on. That way we can just focus purely on the summoner. I will say that with, with the heal clip there, this feels a little bit less stable. I'm used to perks there, like Zen, which I haven't tried yet, or uh, Elemental Capacity to make it a little bit more stable. So although heal clip is nice, sacrificing a stability perk that helps you land all your shots could be pretty crucial. And like I was just telling you, like, heal clip, although it can be helpful, we're not in Round fights one. often enough where we're getting shot back, it feels like. Like, we got two kills there without them even shooting back. I don't know, dude. I My instincts are telling me you want, like, a zen moment there. If you're on void, you probably want a elemental there. That's what my instincts are telling me. Yeah, like I started missing at the end there, which obviously is like, your aim sucks, Jake. Sure, but like, I do think with Zen or with Elemental, I don't miss there. I bet you I'm able to keep that stable. You got flinched there? Yeah, I got, right, but I think the stability perk keeps me on him. Let's go see if we feel a little more consistent with the Zen Golden. This one's the Zen Golden Tricorn. This one I think I wouldn't have died last round with. Oh, my laser beam. Yeah. F heal clip, dude. I actually, the reason I lost that was that thing on the ground. I'm not even kidding you. I freaking walked over this weird spike sticking out of the ground and I missed shots because of it. Dynamic sway could be good too, for sure. I'm just leaning towards thinking that this column should be a stability related perk. We're just starting the golden tricorn zen, so let's give it more of a shot first, but. Oh, he's so weak. Like I didn't mess up there though. I was hitting those shots. This guy's just beaming me, too. I keep getting in the summer fight against that guy, and he just keeps beaming me. No misses. Like, we're fine. Golden Tricorn to absolutely melt the guy on the second fight. That was a perfect demonstration of this one. Zen Moment helped me keep the shots on the dude, and then Golden Tricorn helped me outgun the second guy, who's been gunning me. Zen and Gold Tricorn's a godly combo. Yeah, do I have stability or handling on this? I don't remember. We gotta look. Golden Tricorn ready to go. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Radiant from all the headshots, courtesy of this perk on the artifact. Zen moment, keeping it stable. And Golden Tricorn dealing the bonus damage while Twitch lags and drops frames. Sorry, YouTube. Ladies and gents, that is enough for me to decide that this column needs stability and heal clip is not the role I am craving. Therefore, this is going in the drain. And now it's down to these two. Zen Golden Tricorn versus Elemental Onslaught. And this one, this one I'm not sure. These both feel really good. But let's go see if we can keep experimenting with the two and come up with a clear favorite and try to sort of design our god role. Because people have asked me all weekend, even though it's just starting. They were asking me last weekend too. What is the god role? And I'm like, I don't know. There's a million good rolls. Let's see if we can kind of discover what we think the god roll is after this card. To start this card, we tried Onslaught Elemental. It felt good, but I was really distracted by my stream having issues, so I wasn't paying too much attention. So we definitely got to go and give that more of a shot, too. We got sweaty duos in this match. 
Could make it a little bit more uh, of a necessity to focus up. Our teammates are trying to take over middle, even though that's not where the zone is. We got Golden Tricorn active. And that's what we got Wither Horde for, just in case somebody does something like that. Because this isn't really like a close range weapon. So we would need some cover in case someone's pushing us. What about Zen Onslaught? Zen Onslaught could go huge. I like bonus damage though. It's so fun. So there's the Tricorn doing its bonus damage. Dude, Zen is so good. Okay, I feel wonderful about this one. Let's try the other one again. Just mid-game swap. Back to the elemental. I'm using Void, so that gives a bunch of stability and Onslaught. This is a handling masterwork, not a stability masterwork. So that we should notice a difference. But Elemental's really good on Void when you need stability, and that's what this thing needs. For controller players specifically. Wow. Stable. Onslaught. <sighs> How am I going to decide? They're so good. Onslaught makes it so you fire faster. And oh my god. Is it noticeable. So we got a kill. Get ready to fire faster. Now we got times two. Like if that dude had peaked, he would be screwed. Problem with Onslaught. It goes away quick. It only takes a few seconds. I think it's two, three, four, something like that. I got Zen Onslaught earlier. It's a beam. Yeah, do I want... So yeah, Zen is great because it works with every subclass. Elemental might be better on Void, though. Normally, I would challenge to show off Onslaught, but I was too weak. I didn't want to. Only one enemy is left. Still a little weak. Well, that was bad timing. That was good timing on his part. Onslaught's kind of insane in Rumble. Yeah, there's a like there's too much to dissect here. We'll good trade. We're talking about trials. I'm on a void hunter. I'm on controller. You could be talking about M and K. You could be talking about a Titan on Arc. You could be talking about Rumble sixes. Like there is a lot to dissect. So you can't really dissect every single aspect of it. But at the end of the video, I'll I'll try. Try to dissect as much as I can. Onslaught. All right, well, I don't get to kind of reproc it, but that's all right. See the wild card doing some work there and keeping him off the res? He took a bunch of random damage there and couldn't get the revive because of this. That's why I recommend wild card. People go for revives, they start to randomly take damage, and they're like, uh, what's happening? And they either run away from the revive or they stay committed and he can jump on them. I'd keep both. Well, no, I'm going to get better rolls than these dudes. That's what you got to understand. It's like, I'm not going to settle for a fucking handling masterwork when all is said and done. This is just to make a YouTube video on day one of this thing. I'm not settling for it, for a handling. I will be rocking a stability or a range masterwork on my, whatever summoner I choose go, to go with. I will. There's one snipe in that. Yikes, dude. Okay, we got the... Onslaught roll ready to go. And we should get this kill here. Oh, I didn't realize there was a guy pushing behind me. Our guy kind of left us in there. Darn. We got a little bit of a baiter, it looks like. Hopefully it's not. Maybe he was weak and he just needed to back up. Captain Busted Nut. Damn. I was trying to get behind cover because I saw he was taking that angle. Wild card. Dealt a little bit of damage, kept him off the res for a sec, but they have wild card too. See, so he can't res me. He died to wild card. No, he didn't. He died to an SM or to a summoner. All right, I'm ready to focus up. I'm ready to treat this like we need to treat this. It's time to clutch. Let's get it. See if we can get a different. Oh, our teammates are following us. Let's say let's get a different angle. This guy's alone. Now we've got damage on two of them. Okay. No teammates to help with any of that, unfortunately. And they might go crazy. And it didn't work at all. What a disappointment. I thought we might get two kills out of that. This is a good Wither Ward. Man, nothing's working out for us right now. They're on the zone, too. I'm not getting shot in the back. I win that. Onslaught will win me that. All right, teammates. I need y'all to do a little bit of anything. I'm going to try my best. I really think that we should win this game. I'm going to try my best, but I need y'all to participate. Shoot. This might have been a bad play. 
Yeah, teammates, that's what I'm talking about. No onslaught. We didn't get the kill, but that's okay. I want to keep them off the... Ooh. Burn me. Keep them off the heavy. Okay. Got the onslaught ready to go. There we go. Teamwork's teamwork in there. I think... Because of this handling mass work, I'm gonna swap right now to the Golden Tricorn Zen. I, I'm I'm craving this one. I feel like I have a better job of coming back with this one, so I'm listening to my instinct. I like shot them through the wall. What did that to that man? Golden Tricorn did that to that man. Okay, little Gemini Jester underneath. I'm not letting you do this. Golden Tricorn lasts so much longer than on. It's a lot too, which is like kind of a pretty serious benefit. There's one in the spawn. Oh my god, we gotta push in. We could have tried to isolate that guy, but I didn't really know if it was one or two. We still might be able to isolate this guy. There we go. Okay, one left, one right. Teammates are not moving forward at all, but that's okay. That's gonna be tough for them. Double rift. Please, please, please shoot the guy once. There is literally no chance. Oh, thank God. They're going to cap. We lose. Dude, I'm actually in disbelief by my squad right now. <laughs> what are you all doing, man? All right, well, we got to win three rounds in a row, and they're going to get well of radiances, so good luck to us. Golden Tricorn's ready for the next one. Ooh, 32 to the face. This should make it a little bit more complicated for them. I'm going for it. Sweet. Well, we got our tether to counter the wells. Okay, tagged him up a little bit. There's one on the left. I'm not gonna, oh God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Too many angles I'm exposed from there. Please, somebody help me! Thank you! I'm like, I'm getting shot from every angle. There we go, there we go. Okay, we got three Wither Hordes, we got a Tether. <laughs> somebody help me! <laughs> statistically, they're doing great. We're not 3v1, like, statistically, they're doing great, but my god, everybody's looking at me. Scared to use my tether preemptively because if somebody gets away and they have well, it's bad. But I also need to make sure to not go down. Like, they have a well. Good, they just killed the well. Sweet. And we have a well now. I swapped to the Goldie Tricorn. And the Zen moment and started to do a lot better that game, that's for sure. Golden Tricorn. I don't know, it's it's just such a different perk from Onslaught. Onslaught, a little bit harder to keep stable when it's doing its thing. A little bit less time to take advantage of it. Golden Tricorn, you don't lose any stability. You got longer to take advantage of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are one game away from the flawless run. We will give a pretty hefty kind of conclusion conversation after this. Let's hopefully win. We'll go to Lighthouse and we'll sort of just discuss... The Adept Summoner. There's a lot of things to talk about. Perks, controller M and K, subclasses, like sixes versus rumble versus trios. Like it's, there's a lot. The blue summoner with the, they went in this, didn't they? With the good old onslaught is back. Okay, well there was, I'm, I'm trapped in a corner. Hello? 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 Oh my God, dude. Okay, we got Onslaught. This guy, we need to push the guy in front of us. Okay. Got our health. Holy. Oh, that was close, dude. That was close. That was just like a mismanaged clusterfuck, but it worked out. Okay, let's stick outside here. I don't want to be the bait, though. Like, is any teammate going to challenge? Okay, they're going inside. Let's see if I can protect them. Shoot. Got shots on him. Now we're going to get Onslaught. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. God, dude, Onslaught is insanely good, too.
And you get like more bullets shot, which gives you your radiant faster, which is kind of a unique thing to think about. You need like a certain number of bullets to hit in the head in a row to proc radiant. And onslaught allows you to do that quicker. So you can get like a damage buff from radiant faster than you would from any of the other perks. Trying to protect you, bro. Okay. I want to, like, start capping, which I'm not going to actually commit to it, but I want to put pressure on them to move. My teammate got a kill. I wish I was there with him when he did that. Oh, that cooked them. They almost got killed by that. I shouldn't have even wasted that, probably. Damn it. Damn it, I got that guy so freaking weak. That was a nightmare. I was also pretty weak at a lot of that, though. Zen is good if you got a bit of distance. Yeah, there's there's a lot to break down. I wish I had a chart with all the perks. I'm sure that exists somewhere. Okay, I'm in this and my radar sucks. But it makes it so he didn't know I was there. Damn it. Oh, good. Somebody cleaned it. And everything is going terribly. Okay. We're weak and volatile. But we have Onslaught. D2 Foundry can show you the stuff. Okay, I'll, I might go there to look at all the perks. I have my tether, but we... Ah, he's in the spawn still. I'm not going to use it while we have 2v3. No reason to. Definitely not going to use it now. I need my teammates alive for it. We don't have to win that round. We need to win one of the next three. So, it's actually a good tip for people. People think... Oh my god, we've got four. I must use my super. No, you don't. If you're winning 4-1, you do not have to use your super. You have a lot of rounds to choose from, realistically. So do it in the right spot. The right spot for Tether is teammates nearby. Guess what is not happening? I am running away. Teammates just left me on the zone 1v3. Okay, so that dude got the kill, so I will not have it. The onslaught, that is. I think we need a tether. We'll just use our weapon. Boom. Flawless. A little bit of lag at the beginning of this card on the Twitch servers. But overall, that was a fun card to sort of uh, mess around and compare different perks and see what felt right. Let's fly to the lighthouse. And then I really feel like we have a lot to discuss. Let's go get the adept summoner out of the chest first. See what we get. What are we going to get out of the chest? Which summoner? Still Friday for me. Still just beginning this whole journey on this weekend. So we still have plenty more... Good rolls to seek. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Zen moment. Kill clip or onslaught. Ricochet rounds and a range masterwork. And I have officially come. Although, unfortunately, I don't have the barrel I prefer. But this is probably my favorite roll I've gotten so far. Damn it. And we didn't get to use it in the card. YouTube. Let's talk about the summoner. There's an insane amount of perks on the summoner that are really good here are your combinations i think stability or range is what you want as far as the master work stability might be better on controller while range might be better on mouse and keyboard but those are the perks you want stability and range are super key realistically i think arrowhead's incredible because of the recoil direction and you get some really good handling i think small bore is really good because you get yourselves the bonus on the range and stability i like hammer forged a lot too those are probably my top three but i'm sure there's some sleeper ones i've never been a real barrel expert arrowhead probably the one you're going for most though on the mag you're definitely wanting ricochet rounds all that stability on controller super helpful if you don't want ricochet rounds i think the next best choice is high cal while this might not help you personally too much i've heard it flinches the enemies a lot without going into a private match it's kind of hard to test that but high cal is really good at making it so the enemies are flinched and hopefully helping you win your gunfight as a result now here's where the conversation gets interesting there are so many good perks here that you can combine in different ways tap the trigger for example i didn't even get but the short granted extra stability and accuracy once you start shooting you get extra stability and accuracy probably nuts so let's break it down heal clip we tried it i'm not a fan i am a fan in this column of a stability perk keep in mind we're playing pvp so you might be like jake overflows goaded we're playing pvp you don't want to overflow. Dynamic Sway is going to help you with stability. Perpetual is going to help you with stability. Zen Moment's going to help you with stability. These are the three I would seek with Zen Moment probably being the number one top tier best one. Perpetual's good. Dynamic's good. If you are on Void, Elemental's good too, but I find myself landing way more shots in that card while using Zen. I would go for Zen. 
Heel clip overrated, in my opinion, for the longer range weapons. That's really good for the close range weapons when you're constantly taking damage. I go Zen. Now, this column's crazy. If you're going, if you're, let's say you're an average to less than average player, you probably don't want to focus on the perks that deal bonus damage. Why? You need a kill for Onslaught. You need a kill for Golden Tricorn. You need a kill for Kill Clip. If you're not getting kills very often, then you don't want a perk wasted. Therefore, tap the trigger is probably your god roll. If you're like less than average, be honest with yourself. Tap the trigger in Zen Moment's going to be the most helpful thing to help you win your 1v1s. But if you're getting a lot of kills and you think you're a slayer, there's a lot of good kill damage or bonus damage perks to pick between. Kill Clip, I didn't get to test last card, but I just got the roll. I'm going to test the next card. Onslaught, Golden Tricorn, and even Rampage, which I didn't get to true or test either. We sort of confirmed target lock put it off dude take it off target lock not what you want on this thing it sounds good people think oh my god i got target lock it's so good no take it off this is what you want if you're less than average if you're more better than average or you're a slayer you want one of these perks let's talk about which ones are different and why onslaught golden tricorn being you. rampage i think it's going to be personal preference the difference between golden tricorn and rampage is barely barely anything it's not that big of a deal like, if you get a good thing in this column, a good thing in this column, a good thing in this column, and you get Rampage versus Golden Tricorn, it's not like one is so important versus the other that you need to deal, you need to delete one and hunt the other. These are both damage based. You get a kill, and now you're going to deal more damage without even needing to reload. I think Rampage or Golden Tricorn are pretty similar. I think they're both great. Onslaught's unique and probably based off of sixes or threes might feel a little bit different. Onslaught's rate of fire increase felt really good to me. I had a hard time a little bit keeping it stable, but that's because I had a handling masterwork on the onslaught roll and we didn't have Zen moment. I think if we had Zen moment and a stability masterwork instead of a handling, this onslaught would have been a laser. Kill clip is probably my favorite just because it deals more bonus damage than anything else from my experience at least. And I do land enough kills that I can usually activate this, especially with my worm mustache, get health back and get the kill clip so i'm excited for kill clip hopefully you enjoyed the breakdown i had a lot of fun playing with these different summoners i definitely know that a lot of good roles exist out there and you don't need to hunt one specific role and that's maybe my favorite part of this summon a lot of weapons are like you need this exact role to get the god role i don't think that's the case with the summoner i think there are so many good combinations out there that you have a good chance of getting one you really like. Good luck out there in trials. I will be carrying people all weekend, so come join the Twitch stream if you want help getting one of these things, and I hope you enjoyed the YouTube video. If it was helpful, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to drop a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Come visit Twitch. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.